All right, this is going to be uh, kind of a part two to our homemade sanding block here, uh, which is about as simple as it gets uh, for as ergonomic as it is. Uh, again, it's really just two golf balls uh, stuck on the end of a piece of, in this case, three, three eighths square uh, hardwood dowel. I believe uh, this is poplar. Uh, the material probably doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, you could certainly use a piece of 3 8 key stock uh, if you want something a little bit more uh, rigid, although this really doesn't have a whole lot of flex to it at all. Uh, and personally, I like the warmth of wood, and uh, you know, I'm sure metal uh, is just as suitable or steel, but uh, this is probably going to be a little bit cheaper and uh, a little bit more easier to source, anyhow. So, uh, just to show you how I use this, we go ahead and get a piece of paper cut for it. And uh, I'm doing a fairly narrow blade. Uh, you obviously want the strip of paper that you wrap around it to be at least as wide as the blade you're hand sanding uh, more often than not. So, uh, I like to use this ruler uh, just as a straight edge, uh, line the outer edge up like so and then uh, using the back of a knife uh, you could use a Stanley knife you know a pocket knife or really just anything with a kind of a hard sharp corner but you just want to run it down the side there just to kind of give the paper a little bit of a crease and you could even use scissors or You know, there's any number of ways to cut sandpaper, I suppose. But uh, and this piece is curled up a little bit, making this a little bit longer and drawn out. But uh, once you get a nice crease on it, it tears off pretty easily. Uh, the higher grits, you know, you need to pull a little bit harder on the lower grits. They almost break right off. So uh, now that we got a strip of sandpaper, uh, at the width that we want it. Uh, we want to establish our length and you could certainly wrap this all the way around just in one pass and just tear it off as you use it. Uh, I like to have fairly sharp corners though and I found that the more paper obviously that you wrap around the stick kind of the more blurred your corners get or the rounder off they get. So uh, I like to just make one wrap to cover all sides once uh, and then I'll make one final wrap on one side and just kind of crease it so that essentially I'm five sides wide on my piece here and uh, you can see the creases are pretty pronounced so that makes this next part uh, pretty simple and I think I left my scissors over on the other bench so we'll go ahead and do it this way just to get it done and actually, let's just cut it. If I can hold it steady here. A little bit hard on the knife edge, but uh, anything for YouTube, right? So uh, now we got a piece, again, five sides wide. And uh, when we use all four sides the first time, we got one more underneath here. You just flop that around, and uh, you have one more exposed edge. Uh, before you have to throw your piece of paper away. So uh, let's take this over to the knife and I'll show you how it works real quick. Trying to stabilize this tripod a little better. <clears throat> and uh, one thing I found when folding it around this way, uh, especially on the higher grits, uh, if you kind of wet it down with your Windex or your cutting fluid, water, oil, whatever you're using, uh, and crease it, you know, fairly tight, it, it actually almost kind of sticks to itself uh, once you start applying pressure and breaking these corners a little bit. So uh, you can see I can get my thumbs over the paper to, you know, kind of stabilize it a little bit if I need to, or I can kind of keep my... Uh, hands nice and far away from the edge and uh, I know some guys when they're hand sanding like to kind of change direction uh, that's done really easily you know with these handles on it as well so you can kind of get a different angle there 
uh, however you need to. And uh, looks like I didn't tighten my clamp up. But uh, obviously, as you clear one side or clog one side up, just turn it. And you probably want your uh, bottom edge trailing. So you can kind of turn it as you need it. And then again, uh, just flopping those last edges uh, gives you one last shot at it. And uh, just a real quick added bonus before we cut the video off is uh, I think you guys get the picture. Uh, you know, this is really nice for your uh, calisthenics, you know, if you're trying to buff up a little bit for the wife. You know, it makes a nice uh, little exercise device. But uh, probably my favorite feature is... Uh, that if you accidentally drop it, it bounces right back up into your lap. So, what do you think of that? Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. Uh, if you happen to make one yourself, uh, how you like it. Uh, appreciate any feedback on this. And if you like the video, as always, uh, give it a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.